Hello and welcome to Friday. I hope you guys all have a great weekend planned out ahead. Um, we're going to be getting to look at the Gigant Driller and the Kirame Silver Yudo action figures today. Action figure today. I guess they're both action figures. Kind of. Food for thought. Anyways, <laughs> uh, again, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for starting your weekend out with me here today. Um, I want to get the internet stuff out of the way, so go ahead and leave a like and a comment. If you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe. That's done. That's out of the way. We're going to make this a quick video so you can get to your weekend so I don't hold you up too much. Again, thank you very much for being here. Now, let's get to the table. Tom's here with his toys. He's here to play. Let's go. Hello and happy Friday. It's the weekend, everyone. And to get our weekend running, we will be looking at Gigant Driller, who is now in front of all the other Curator stuff we've looked at so far. Um, I had him set up a little bit nicer, and then the dog ran to the table and knocked everyone over. And I've been fighting with them to stay stale, but they won't, so now they're all leaning against the wall. <laughs> Anyways, before we start looking at Gigant Driller here, we're going to be looking at his associated ranger. This is Kirame Silver. There we go. There you go, that's his, no. So this is Silver, as I said. He does have a different style of changer. Instead of having a wheel, he's kind of got like a globe that he spins there. There we go. We've got his weapon here, which is in its claw form. And then you get two versions of that. You got the one that's in the claw form. And you got the one that's in the pickaxe, the uh, jackhammer form. So you can pick and choose. Ah, just do them off the table. <laughs> Give me a silver. All right, so silver is, if I remember correctly, he's actually a crystallian. I believe he is the nephew to Galta. So he's a little different than the other ones. He's got a very different helmet here. Same kind of shoulder pads. Got the road motif in a blue crystal. Got a little pocket thing there. And so, just like everyone else, you know, same range of motion. Hands. He does come with silver hands that are open, but because I never display them with them, they're still on the sprue. But yeah. Like I said, he's just a little bit different than everyone else. The other way he's different is he doesn't ride in his vehicle so much as, if I remember correctly, he turns into this. This crystal. So, and then we have the machine. This is Gigant Driller. Multi shreds. These, if you do it just right, can rub against one another, but it's really difficult to tell and make it work right. right. Um, it is the gimmick for the DX toy. It rolls, and all three of these spin at the same time. These do spin. You can turn them. And then uh, you've got a viewing window here. This moves. You can move up and down. That this part here. This moves up and down. This moves. It's on all kinds of hinges. This will open and close. I believe it's spring locked in the in Japan on the DX. So you'd have to do that to open both of them. So, if I recall correctly, let's angle the camera down a little bit so I don't have to hold it up too high. What happens is basically the arm will reach over and pick up the crystal, right? So you pick up the crystal and you hold it in place like so and then it deposits the crystal into the thing which ah, kind of difficult to do with the actual toy. <laughs> Make sure it's facing the right way too. One sec. This way. And so you pop it in there, plug it in and then on the DX toy the other gimmick that it follows from the show is you would take and this arm lifts up and turn so it's facing proper. There we go. And what you would do is you just burp, and there's a button that you can hit with this drill that causes this piece to spring up. 
and so you have this going on. Um, this plugs back in here. Flip this up, and there you go. There's the face. Then swing these down, turn the body, separate it, and you flipped up the drills here. There's your feet. And then what you want to do is the this arm will come down, and this arm comes up like that. I think this arm comes down, or is it? Yeah, comes down. There we go. Don't know why it was sticking. And then you just turn it. Ah, there you go. Turn this so it looks proper. There we go. There you go. There's one arm. Right. And then for the other arm, just pull it down. And then, because we're mini plot, we can turn it so it looks nicer. And it has an elbow. There you go. And this is Gigant Driller in his full on robot mode. Drill hand, claw hand, big beefy, spiky feet, and uh, weird face. That is that is his face in this mode. But hey, it's mini plus, so let's make it so that we don't have anything in the way. And let's make it a little look a little nicer, right? Remove his head, remove the mask, and here is the new piece. Much better looking. Now the if I remember correctly, the DX toy does have lights. Let me get it on there. Come on, get in there. Ah. <laughs> there we go. The DX toy does have lights in the chest and that lights up the face as well. Yeah, with this in place, we have a ball jointed head, which, you know, turn left, right, up, down a little bit. Arms can move that way and that way. All kinds of joints here, joint here. There's a joint here, rotation, rotation. Uh, let's see, same thing on this side, joint, rotation and a joint. Um, legs, oh, waist has rotation. Legs can move forward that much. We can uh, put them back. This can be moved out of the way if you want to get further back motion. So there is that. I mean, you can kind of put it like this. And get it up and out of the way completely, but I usually leave it like this. It takes up less space. It does have a knee. Nice full bend at the knee. And there is some thigh rotation, but the treads do get in the way. So yeah, very posable. Again, one thing Miniplug definitely has over the full-size DX toys is the posability and the compact size. Now, you can push this down and uh, you can put him in with the shovel core to do that we need Magellan we need dust ore and we actually need shovel -O. all right so connect shovel -O on this shoulder like that and then he'll hold dust ore and it's vacuum cleaner mode. So I'll plug him in to here. He holds him, I swear to God. The stupid claws are in the way. <laughs> you can actually, uh, it's easier. I forgot about this. Easier to just plug him in there. There. So we got that. And then uh, Magellan, turn him into his cannon mode, and then using this, there is a, there you go, there's a hole here, and a post right here, and you just combine the two, but that doesn't work, does it? So what you do instead is this actually fits up there. So you have the claw like this, let me adjust the camera here, there you go. So we shift the claw from hanging down to up here by switching the posts on, 
And uh, what you need to do is pull out that post again. And there you go. There. And that is uh, the shovel core and, well, most of the shovel core. There's missing forker. Or lift or, sorry. I believe lift or is part of it. Yeah, because carry roll or. I don't know. I can never remember who's the four guys for the shovel core. But yeah, so that is um, basically Jiller, Driller's uh, combinations. That's all his combinations right there. Of course, you can give him anyone else. He has uh, holes so he can hold the fork, you know, he can hold the dr uh, hammer, all that kind of stuff, but. This is his official combination that he has in the show at one point. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh this is gonna be a quick one here. Let's do some comparisons here. Let's get Shovelo off. Let's get Magellan off. Oh, put this back where it belongs. Boink. And get him off the arm. There we are. Drive away. You too. Oh, that's why. You get back in your body where you belong. There you go. And let's put his arm back on. Okay, so we got Gigant Driller there. He is actually just a little bit shorter than a Kiramajan. And if we are to grab. Small jokey, there you go. So there's our three mechs so far. Uh, you got a guy who kind of looks like a football player. Uh, you've got the dinosaur. And you've got the sparkly, sparkly red pants V chest man. <laughs> Such an odd, like, oddly enough. It is a very odd gamut of appearances, right? You got a guy who kind of looks like Godzilla, you got the football player type character, and you got someone who kind of fits the superhero theme, you know, where they have like the the big gaudy um, costume embellishments, right? But they all do just seem somehow to work together. I don't know how. Like, you could put them all on different shows, and be like, yeah, this makes sense. This is a dinosaur. And then another show, you're like, oh yeah, it's a superhero football robot guy. Another show, it's a, it's a your token superhero robot, right? But they all, it just meshes together, and I don't know how. Very well done, Super Sentai, or Machine Sentai, Kira Major. It might just be the accents of the white between the two heroes, and then just the uh, black between two of them, I just, it works together. It really works together. Anyways, this is a quick one. I hope you guys have a great Friday, and we'll see you for sure on Monday. Take it easy. Farewell. Bye-bye.